Hey, 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 thank you for tuning in. This is Laura Kane After Dark, and I'm Laura Kane. This is my best friend, Eric Rimmer. Hi. We've been doing this thing for three and a half years. Booyah. Booyah. And we're going strong, and we still love each other. We do. We've never even fought. No. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Hold on. Hold. <laughs> I knew I knew this was going to be Hold a problem. Oh, Damn we're, it. We're back with the asphyxiation blue. Well, I, well, I wanted to go oh, dark because I was wearing black. Maybe that's... Okay, uh, Wednesday, Adam's clear. He t called me that, too. Oh, he did? Yes. I'm sorry, is that not what you're going for? No. There's no way. You said it would pertain to what you're going to talk about. I was like, oh, she Hold probably on. just watched Wednesday. No, what? I had nothing. Oh, God. Mm, I don't like it. I hated it when my mom did that to me. Yeah, you look like you just drank a bunch of like grape juice <sighs> and, uh, all over your face. Can uh, you blot on is... something? Yes, I just did, actually. I'll do it again. Ugh. You just... Ugh. Wow. Um, no, you got it on your chin. Oh my god! It's on god. my teeth or chin. <laughs> on your chin. Can you this hand is me out a of napkin. Oh yeah. my Get god! Get a wet napkin. How about oh a wet napkin? Oh my god! This is a disaster. <sighs> I knew it. I'm throwing that lipstick away. This it's... is older lipstick that I have. It's Mac, but oh and it's it, when it goes on well, it looks good. But I not didn't do it, it is well. Not thank you, Brian. And thank it's you, a producer mess, producer Brian. It thank is. A, you. It is not just a mess. It's a hot mess. Do my lips look really... Just wipe the whole damn thing off. When I signed on this producer, I didn't want to have to oversee your makeup <laughs> disasters. I know. Or it's, failures. It's, it's, it's not what I produce. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. I should, this job should have come with a warning. <laughs> should have come with a lot of warnings. I know. <laughs> You're going to see things that will haunt you forever. Oh, oh, no. I gotta get it. oh man. Okay, you know, me, you're wiping me, off all my makeup. Let me, okay, that's better. No, you know what? I don't trust you because when our last guest, I went upstairs to look at my face and I had black I like, admit, under I, my eyes. I didn't to, say anything I to me. I was trying to say something, but I didn't want to. It's okay to say it and not, you won't embarrass me if you say it. Okay. I was embarrassed thinking that she was looking at me with that oh. dark under my eyes. Next time I'll just be like, uh, Laura, Laura, you look really shitty right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to be more specific than that. <laughs> You'll, you'll know. Oh God, I'm just a mess. Oh whatever. I'm I'm throwing that lipstick away. Oh please do. Uh, uh, and okay. Your leopard print boots while you're at it, please. No, those are, I just put those back oh, in my God. newly carpeted closet. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I put I saw those leopard print boots. I'm like, mm -mm, these are staying. I'm keeping them and I'm gonna wear them soon. Yeah. If <laughs> Mm -hmm. If ratting on being a seat filler hadn't got you banned from the Oscars, those boots would have. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I already, yeah, it did get me banned. I've been fired. That's no joke, but who knows what else could happen to me? I don't know. But Nothing. if it's in German, it doesn't, I don't know if it matters. You Hopefully be, it doesn't. You, you could be saying in German like, yeah, I love anal. Oh my God. You should have just ragged on the Oscars <laughs> like <laughs> at, like organization be like, they're the worst. But and the then, thing is like, Whatever I told him and whatever we talked about was just all very um, basic and bland, kind of. It was just like, oh, yeah, we can't talk to the celebrities until they talk to us. What's the secret about that? That's like common sense. Like Common sense? They're just people. The Oscars are the most. But you know what I'm saying? Like, why would the, why or do we have to sign all these things to say we won't talk about saying. being a seat filler? Oh, like, what, it's it's so obvious. Yeah. yeah, the Oscars are the most overhyped and like. Well, ultimately meaningless you know that's brian not me um oh would you care to show our viewing public how what you're no, i was smoothie? gonna i was gonna talk about look at smoothie. your straw oh. first of all speaking of it wardrobe is a, out fun. Oh i know God. give me that look at your, this your lips have dropped like four shades of purple <laughs> i know <laughs> from when the show started yeah oh my god um oh my god first of all well that'll be my host chat i'll tell you about my smoothie in a minute oh man i i Let just want to say this what jay I hope you're listening and taking notes. Oh, yeah, Jay, for at my for my host chat. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. going to tell you about a website that you need to visit to get in touch with a financial advisor. His name oh. is Jay Wurzler at Capital Growth. 
Inc. Dot com. Why do yeah. you think that's like so clever and funny? I'm it's, just saying for our sponsor, I thought, you know, considering Jay has sponsored us, I think you should be taking his advice. I I am slowly. I am. So it's, slowly. But look. Oh my God. At a snail's pace slow. Even if I was Leonardo you DiCaprio can't. rich, I still wouldn't spend. Hey, want, stop. I would, Don't I would not give spend away lots of money on the smoothies. I will give you my, my reasoning in a minute. Give me a minute. I, 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 regardless of reason, give unless, me a break. That, unless that thing like makes you ten years younger. Well, we'll have. Well, I feel great right now. Okay. Well, I can tell you, you look just like you did before you drink this <laughs> Oh my! Well, then God. shut up. Wait till oh I talk my. about it. We got to talk about some things first. It's not the that's that smoothie better be like the found of youth or something. Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> that's how this is gonna start. This is. This is Thursday, going into Friday, really having some fun here, God, aren't you? For once, it's not me in the hot seat. <laughs> for once, I'm always in the hot seat. It's your what? Your name's on the banner. <laughs> well, well. Jay, we're sorry. We're not saying this is your fault. The Lord is bad with money. You did the no. Best you Jay is helping me. Actually, he's he's giving me some great advice. But just like learning, I'm learning. I know I'm such and such an age. And I should know all this by now, and I know that, but. He, him as an example to me is proving to be very beneficial. And then now, Danielle, I'm really putting people in my corner that are going to help me. I yes. just want to say, I don't think you're too old or I don't think these are all lessons you've already should have known. I think the only lesson you should have known is how to actually follow advice and not just listen to it. I'm going to smack you <laughs> upside the head. Hey, look. Hey, look. Wait, first of all, first of all. Hey, do you I have any just, popcorn? Throw, can we throw it at him? No, I was going to just sit back and eat oh. it while you two went out. Hey, you know, quietly, Eric's on my side. <laughs> he just want to say it. No, I, f I refuse to believe it. Just look at it this way. I am manifesting better results for you. He is. As am I. It's not working. But I will. Hey, you need let's more wait. You let's need wait. more manifesting, and I am helping. I'm throwing my, ring, I'm throwing my hat in the ring with you. Wait, wait. Five minutes, please. Five All minutes. Right, sorry. Let's talk about. Jay. Jay. Wurzler. God, do you know the man has a website? <laughs> What's his website? It, it, thank you for asking, Brian. It you. is capitalgrowthinc.com. He does, even has uh, a phone number. Does he give any advice on smoothie prices? He, now, he I gives advice would on like finance. to keep Jay as an advertiser, so can we please be a little bit more proper when we're doing his ads? We're, we're starting right now. Okay. Yes. Uh, are, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are you trying to make this... I'm scolding both of you. For what? For for not being more uh, professional about this ad. We just rolled out the red carpet for him. We started with his website. <laughs> and what's his, phone, what's his phone number? His phone number is 858-552-6960. And if you want to contact him directly, it's J-A-Y-W at capitalgrowthinc.com. Brian. Well, who, who can you please tell us who is Jay? Laura, Laura, we're getting that. We're getting that. Okay. Jay, Jay Wurzler is the guy that can take care of all your money problems. If, which not, some, for some of us here, they are new money. And what, <laughs> tell us something about Jay. He's, he has coming up. Oh, come on. No, tell me about as a man. Like, what is he, what does he do? What is he? What is Jay? He does finances. He does handles uh, divorce. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Mm -hmm. And he's had 35 years of experience. He's located at the Aventine in UTC. Mm -hmm. He's an amazing guy. And if you have any money, whether it's through an inheritance, your 401k, you lose a job and want to know what to do with that rollover, he's the guy you want to go to. And let me quick, let me just throw on here. Everyone assumes that taxes are something you worry about at the end of the year, but the best way to avoid taxes is to think about all year long and financially prepare yourself. There's a lot of things you can do to put yourself ahead of the curve and keep more money in your pocket at the end of the year. A lot of things you can structure better to have more money in your pocket. Wills, trusts, inheritance, all those things. Government's coming for it. Your family's coming for it. So talk to Jay. He will help you through it. Guess who we're going to have to divvy up the money from this um, ad with um, with now um, our producer. I want because, my, I, want I my, know, you I want should. my name on the banner, Brian <laughs> Jones after that. Uh, oh, <laughs> anyway. Jay's a great guy. We need to make that happy hour happen. So yes. you're the the person that we're waiting on because you're the busy one. Real quick, can we talk about Jay's sh Shredder event that's coming? Yes, out? I was oh, just going to yes, talk to you uh, about it. It's a lower interrupt. <laughs> April first, from nine thirty a.m. to eleven thirty a.m. It's at the Aventine Building, in front of the Capital Growth Office. 
It's free. All he wants you to do is say hi. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself to Jay. That's it. Say, Laura, Eric, and Brian sent me. That's a good deal. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like bring a bit, bring as big of a trash bag as you have, full of stuff to shred. It's all in your garage and boxes. You don't need those tax forms anymore from 1996. Get I, rid of them. I think I, people don't realize that's a big way for identity theft to happen. Is people oh. to hold your old documents, so shred those things and let yeah. Jay do it for you. I thought when you're you said, too good at this. I <laughs> thought when you said shredding event, we were like going to get shredded, like work out. Oh well, I will be there swinging a golden flaming sword, shredding documents, and I will be shredded at this event. But yes. Jay, I'm sure we'll just be doing it the old fashioned way. Wow, event. flaming gold sword. Yeah, that's the only way to get rid of your tax documents. Right. Jay's phone number. If you have a little money, if you have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. If you want some guidance, call him eight five eight five five two six nine six zero. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much, Jay. And if you we spend you. too much money on smoothies or shoes, Jay's the man to call. If I bought shoes, yes, you, I have. Yes, you literally just told us about it last week. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Okay, well, <laughs> let's go right into... Well, first, we got to talk about our live from Laura's Living Room, which is happening March 27th. Mm -hmm. If you want to come, we have food, we have treats, we have drinks and prizes. It'll be really fun. And, and we are going to be a delight. We are... Uh, always a delight. Now, Somebody might be getting a tattoo. Maybe. Not me. Yeah? No. I told we'll you talk I, about it. We did talk about it. We'll talk about it off here. I told you, I, my position's clear. I'm not getting an LCAD tattoo. I know. What are you going to get? Some like, what? Something different. Well, that's, it has to be, it has to have some like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like it has to have some Substance. danger in it. It has to have some kind of danger. So it's There's already um, exciting. A danger. It's permanent. Ah, uh, whatever. Wait, why, why would you, why are you, why do you want someone to risk their, like the, the, the danger? To, for oh my permanent? God. We got to go to Laura's house to see this guy. He's going to get a tattoo of blah, 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 blah. Live on the air. We have to watch. We have to go. That's that just, what I want. That just sounds like we're taking advantage of someone. You. Yeah. I don't get paid. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> You do not. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna. I'll get your name tattooed on my ass. Would you really? Yeah. <laughs> Can we make that happen? That's almost as good. In fact, that might be yeah. better. You will not. Yeah. No, you won't. Huh? There's no way. No, I see your eyes. They're lying. Those are lying eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're not. You're not being honest. I'm gonna get your name. Tattooed on my ass. Oh, okay. I would I love he's that. About, no, he's talking about the Y O U R. That would be funny too, but he won't do that. He won't touch his precious behind. No, tush is the word we use. His tush is like it's. His tush is like glorious. It's very clean, and it's what do you call it? Showroom new. Showroom new. There yes. we go. He's very proud of it. He's not going to want to. <laughs> Ink Show, that up. Showroom new. That's what he says. We sure not like fair conditions slightly. No, used. no, it is not slightly condition. used at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's March twenty seventh. But you mm -hmm. need to be a subscriber on Instagram, four ninety nine a month, super easy and cheap, and hopefully, and then also on YouTube, and then RSVP at Laura Kane After Dark. We already have some RSVP people, and it's going to be yes. fun. I know. Oh, when we were chatting on, there's a special. Subscribers get a special little channel where we can all chat. And I think there were about seven or eight of them that are coming already. Oh, excellent. Donna and Lisa. And these are just some of the names. Terry. Oh, great. Um, so it's going to be really fun. That would be great. Subscription little button is right in our bio on Instagram. And you said that I'm going to have to wear pants. You don't That's have optional. to. Be yourself. Well, you said that. We're going to be sitting in chairs, so True. it'll be a full body shot. Yes. That'd be kind of funny if you didn't wear pants. It kind of would. Maybe but if you don't wear pants, you have to get a tattoo. Oh. Wear like a skirt or a kilt. Or oh, yeah, great. But no underwear, so yeah. in case of accidents, <laughs> yeah. it'd be funnier. Oh. Just Sharon Stone, everybody. Oh, boy. Oh, my go. God. Yeah, you could. Uh, what's that movie? Lethal, not Lethal Weapon. Things Basic are going to get, yeah. Things are gonna get weird, I think. Mm -hmm. Really Live fast. in Laura's living room. It's going to be funny, though. And fun. Laura's going to be Michael Douglas. For sure. What is, I don't even remember that movie, so. What oh does Michael Doug Douglas do? Stares at Nicole Kid or Sharon Stone's <laughs> privates. Oh, it, oh, okay. He's the one that gets the peep show? Well, I mean, they the entire the room show. Um, okay. <laughs> now my host chat. Uh huh. Oh, boy. Brace yourself. I would like to preface this by saying today 
I have not had a very healthy diet. <gasps> Cal surprise. I woke up a little late. I didn't even have cereal. I didn't have breakfast. Um, I had a protein drink with some corn from my roommate, Elotes. Oh, Yo, yeah. I'm sorry, you put corn in a protein no, drink? No, I had corn with the protein drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm lacking some nutrients. So I thought, ooh, a smoothie would be great, especially a green one, and then I can add some protein to it. I can add a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. So I- Pray tell, that's not green. Well, because Actually, it looks it's called the medium green of all greens. The medium queen of all greens. This is from Robex. That looks like what comes out of Eric's slightly used, I'm sorry, showroom <laughs> new condition factory. I <laughs> added fiber, multivitamin, whey protein, twice by accident, agave, flax seeds, matcha, green tea, acai juice, almond butter, and blueberries. And I got a medium, and the total was... Drum roll, please. For this smoothie right here, $22. <laughs> But this is all, this is my meal for the day. That's still not healthy. It's better than getting McDonald's after the show. Mm, maybe slightly. So, I mean. That's a lot of protein and fiber. You know, you're going to be blocked. That's going to cause problems oh, going through. Blockage? Yeah. No, fiber helps it get out. Okay, then, sorry. I just said problems. I didn't say blockage. <laughs> well, she always has problems in that area. It's going to be a slip and slide. That's fine. Like Eric? I'll be more like you. Oh, we with can, all this fiber, we can only hope. <laughs> I know we can only hope. <laughs> Some of us dream to be like Eric. So I listened to a book on tape on the way up to Hollywood the other mm -hmm. day, and it was called. Uh, it was called some like money for dummies, something along that vein. But I wanted the basics, right? So there are four things. This is what I remember. Uh -huh. Number one, must do it have to do it. It doesn't have to be binding or a bad experience, but you have to make a budget. To me, always making a budget sounded so restricting and so unfun. I just didn't like it. So I never really made a proper budget, but he was telling there are different ways to make a budget. So this book was saying all these different ways. So I got inspired and I got on an app that he told me about this author called Mint. And it like, you put in all your credit card, you put in all the things and it tells you what you're spending your money on and whatnot. It's a start, right? Mm -hmm. Number two is pay off your debts. Number three, save. And number four, invest. Mm -hmm. Those are the four things and those are the four things kind of in order that you need to do. So I would like to say that today, I put away a thousand dollars for my trip to New York to see my daughter because I had it, and I'm probably going to be a little bit like uh, it's going to be a little lean for the next week or so. But I'm gonna. I already it's out of my account, so I can't spend it. Good. So I'm safe. So I'm doing better. Yeah, I bought a twenty two dollar. <laughs> yeah. What categories would you have on your budget? Shoes. I haven't made smoothies. it yet. Smoothies. I'm. It's, I'm working on it. It's I'm working on it. Okay? Well, we already established that the smoothie budget needs to be quite large. Otherwise, we're going to run well, out real quick. Well, it's food. So, <laughs> and I probably shouldn't have got it from, uh, what did I, Grubhub it? Did I Grubhub it? But I had free delivery, so whatever. Oh, speaking of Grubhub. I love getting things delivered to the door. It's so fun. I never do. Well, it's so fun. It's such a luxury. I love it. It's an, Yeah, it, there's a reason it's called luxury. It's expensive. I know. I know. I yes. know. Believe me, you guys are the only two people who yell at me constantly about my spending. <laughs> my you mom don't talk to Jay enough. I, you know, I'm going to put a, a button on here that says, it just says Jay in bright red, like a superhero button. It's going to be speed dialed to his cell phone. So, mm -hmm. so I can call him up and be like, come talk to Laura. Jay treats me and handles me with love and kid gloves. We should probably you don't have kid gloves. You're way older than kid gloves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. You're going to keep bringing up my age. At least I'm, I'm doing sorry. something about it. I about might your, cry. I might cry. Age? Uh -oh. I might start crying right now. Well, that would just be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you feel bad. No crying. <laughs> no crying. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this $22 smoothie right now. So thanks. I find a dollar for every birthday I had. I could buy one of our smoothies. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, all it would get me is a smoothie. <laughs> I know. Barely. Not without, <laughs> with no tags. Oh, my gosh. 
22 over here, salaried with a 401k already. Okay, He's got it locked. Doesn't mean it's like an impressive 401k. No, it's so what? You, I mean, you're 22. You already have one. It's, it's only got great. A couple, it's only got a couple grand. So what? I think it's awesome. Yeah, I Stay do where you're at. Don't ever stop. Cool. You don't want to end up like me. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know you I'm don't. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, you're not. That could never happen. I have Jay. Yes, you're right. Jay. Was this just one long commercial for Jay? Yes, it was. It, it really has. <laughs> well, because we're talking about your money. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay, yeah. well... You can't bring up Laura's financials without talking about Jay. Oh, God. Poor, now he's going to get roped into this. I don't want him to be blamed for anything. All right. I, I don't blame him. I, I'm actually... I commend him for how difficult a job he has. <laughs> I know he does. Okay. That's my host chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's yours? Well, you brought up Grubhub. Yes. So, on Tuesday, we had the lovely Danielle Raposo here. Mm-hmm. Who was talking to us about real estate? Mm -hmm. A little message popped up on your phone that said, Elaine from Grubhub will be bringing your order in. Mm -hmm. And while we were talking, in walks this beautifully dressed young woman mm -hmm. with our Grubhub order. And I said, Oh, thank you. And then she sat down on the couch and I thought, Oh, this woman from Grubhub is going to sit down and watch the. We must be really entertaining. We must be. Uh, and then I realized that it was our guest. <laughs> I just would have figured that Laura had like a sign by her door that says, delivery people, please sit and enjoy, because she tried to invite a random guy to get tattooed in her house oh live. Oh, my God. So. I just never know what to expect. I, oh, my God. I was so horrified. People are yelling at me already about having my people come to my house. But I am a trusting person, and I... that's I, not. Don't brag about that. No, no, no. I've... You know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, now no. it's the Brian Jones and Eric Grimmer show. After yeah, dark. baby. Uh, do we want to do our favorite things? Sure. Okay. On LauraKaneAfterDark.com, we have on there our Amazon store. We get commission from the little things that you buy from our store, but it's so low. Like, I think we've been paid maybe six or maybe ten dollars in a year. It's like hardly anything, but we love the fact that we're affiliated with Amazon because it's so cool and we have our own little store and we always put all the things we love and buy. I don't think that means you're affiliated with Amazon. We're affiliated with Amazon. We're an influencer officially. On your resume, it says Amazon.com. Amazon, Amazon influencer. Yes, it does. It does. We're an Amazon influencer. You can look at the paperwork and I am proud of it because we buy, I buy, and I know you do too, lots of things. Do you buy a lot of stuff from Amazon? Yeah. I mean- Everything's on Amazon. So it is. We thought, like, every, I don't know, couple months, we bring uh, some of our favorite things that we have recently purchased from Amazon. We put it on our store. So you can, we'll bring them in, show them, and then you can look at them on our little store. I'm from actually excited to see what you guys have. Okay. So do you want to start our favorite things? Ladies first. I just took a bite of a gummy bear. Oh, all right. I'll start. So I, I had three things that I just bought, but I could only bring two in because the third was huge. So. And expensive. Yes, it was, um, it was a Quasin art and it is, um, a, it's better than a toaster oven. It's, um, it, it cooks everything. You can cook pizzas, you can cook chicken, you can cook. Like an air fryer? It's, it's not an air fryer. It's a toaster it's oven. It's like a convection oven. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. The, the tabletop ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. It's all those. digital. And I love it. And you've cooked in it so oh, far? Oh, yes. Have you bought a lot of new stuff like that? I have. What else did you get as far as like appliances go? An espresso machine. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Do you even drink coffee? I do. Yeah. But it's cool to have one. Yeah. Can your oven cook smoothies maybe of the $22 variety? I, I have. Do you have a juicer? Tried. No, I do. I used to, and then I gave it away. Do you have like a really good blender? I do. I need one of those to make my own smoothies, I, which having, I never will. Having a good blender like is actually like a really like people don't think about, it, but it's really nice. Like the chef was telling us. Yeah. Um, they're like three hundred fifty dollars. Like the oh really for juicers, good, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. blenders are great. Too. My mom had a Vitamix, and I loved it. Yeah, those things are about that price, right? They're about three fifty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but so worth it. I've heard. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just got this, and I just used it last night, and I noticed 
first thing I looked at my skin, I went, whoa, that really changed things. It is a skin facial scrubber, but what it is, it's more like a skin spatula. It has like this little like spatula oh knife. It's God. not a knife thing, but it's not sharp. That was a vibrator at first. <laughs> no. Well, before you took the knife part out, clearly. <laughs> no, that does not look like a vibrator. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like an expert? Vibrator? Don't act like you've never seen a vibrator before. Oh, I have, but I haven't seen all of them. Okay. What this thing does is it does three things. It will, it, here, I'll turn it on. <laughs> now, the first thing it does is it says peeling. You can hear it. Is so what you use to peel off your skin? No, not really, but you, it like vibrates on your skin so closely that you can actually see the dirt lifting up from Whoa. underneath your pores, like the blackheads coming out. Like we all have blackheads here and there. Like you put this up and you like scrape them up and the dirt will just, it just shakes the dirt out. It's cool. And so you just go over your whole face with the peeling. Kind of unsettling. No, it feels, it feels great and it's really satisfying. Yeah. And then the second thing is absorb. So when you put all your, your serums on at night or whatever, you put on the absorb button and that helps it all mold right into your face and absorb into your skin. So you, you, and it has a timer, so it'll go off. And then the third thing is just like a massage. So if you want to massage out those little fine lines, it works too. But I woke up this morning and my face looked really clear. Like I got a lot of dirt out. I have an infrared one. Like, just like this? Uh-huh. This, how much, this was like 20 bucks. Mine was a little more. Yeah, you know. well, yours is infrared. <laughs> Fancier. But yours isn't a spatula. <laughs> well, they call it a scrubber. Anyway, it's on our little store. I, and could, I could scrub, you could clean the shower with that thing. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to use it again. You're only supposed to use it like twice a week. But anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the box. There's a bunch of them on um Amazon, but the one I have is on our little store. Tell me that couldn't be a vibrating device. Mm, no. I don't know. Not really. Here, I'll go because I have more than you. I'll go uh, one more time. Okay. We have another thing? I have, I have a couple things. Oh my gosh. On the store, I don't I I don't know where it went. I thought I put it in my bag. Oh, I did. Um a teeth whitening pen. They come in four, so you can carry one in your car, one in your purse, one in your bathroom, and you just brush the whitening gel on your teeth, and you kind of like keep your lips off for about 30 seconds, like the <laughs> Keep your teeth dry, for like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you can move your mouth around or whatever. You just don't drink or eat anything for 30 minutes, and then it all just kind of, you don't even have to rinse it out. And it over, the, over time, it makes your teeth super white. And it's really easy to use. It's better than those strips because those are, can be a pain in the ass to put on, if you don't mind me saying. It's a pain in the ass. I don't like those strips. So anyway, these pens are awesome. Also on our store. Hmm. So mm -hmm. Laura brought the beauty aisle with her. Mm -hmm. Which aisle did Eric bring? I brought health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Vitamins? You mean the senior citizen aisle? Yeah, I, I posted did. this. I'm like, what the hell does that do? So it's coline and in a sotol, I can't say that in o sitol. Um, it's good for your nervous system, so it just helps kind of mellow you out. I've never even heard of those two products. Mm -hmm. A lot of women use coline um, with, you know, the term pregnancy brain. Yeah, oh, <gasps> you should take one. Concussion brain. Oh, Wait, are you saying Laura's pregnant? No, but she has concussion. Supports brain. healthy nerve transmission, mm -hmm. assists in fatty acid metabolism. Mm -hmm. That's not weight loss <laughs> if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> the way you no. What? Don't make me lose weight. <laughs> anyway, that's on our store too. Do you like this brand? Yeah, now? it's called Now. It's really good. And then I was a huge proponent of the Good Night Sleep Patches. Yes. And then I like to think that due to my promotion of them, they wound up getting so expensive that um, oh, I really? was not about to pay it. They went up about $20. Wait, what? That's yeah. crazy. Because mm -hmm. I was paying for a month's supply. I was paying just under 32 So it was like thirty one ninety eight or whatever because I had it on a direct ship. Yeah. Just went up to $56. That's, um, that's not mm -hmm. right. So... 
I canned them. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I'll try the Oli sleep gummies. So mm. you take one about half an hour before bed. Um, it got great reviews. And so I thought, well, we'll see. Um, it's called Blackberry Zen. You take one or two? Uh, you can take two, but I'm such a lightweight that I took one and it puts you out. Really? Yeah. I doubt that would work on me, but. And there's 60 gummies and it was under 12 bucks. Excellent. So, on our store? On our store. Okay, now this is random, but I wanted to see if it works. And I have only had it now for two days, so I can't give you any results yet. But mm-hmm. it's called For Her, and it is perfume with pheromones in it. You know what pheromones are? Yes. Okay. Well, they make men horny. You put just a tiny bit on because it's very, um, a little goes a long way. I just put some on with a, with some other of my perfume just to see like, so I'm going to see if like the guys start falling at my feet because I smell so I exotic smell? and wonderful. How much was it? This wasn't bad. I think it was under 25. There's no way they're making like, I don't know, horny juice for 20 bucks. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? But um, so it's called Raw Chemistry. They have a lot of them on there too, a lot of different ones. And I read all the reviews and this one was the best one. Then to go along with that, uh-huh. I have, you have perfume for your skin. Do you know you can put perfume on your hair? This smells amazing. It's the people that make Moroccan oil, you know oh, that? Uh-huh. And this is just special scent for your hair. So you'll is always it, smell beautiful. Is this also pheromone juice? No. Oh. oh. It's really nice on you the hair. You spray it on your hair? Uh, yeah, you just spray it on your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, do it. It may it just makes your hair smell right so fresh. Because we forget about the top of our heads sometimes when we're getting smelly, yummy. Okay, so that's okay. on the store. And then I have two more things. Do okay. you have any more? I do. Oh. oh no, that's it. Okay. This is called anti-cellulite massage oil. And you get it with this big round like scrubber thing and you put it on your legs and you massage it and it gets rid of cellulite and it smells really good. It smells and it's infused with collagen and stem cell and it's not that expensive. And it makes your skin feel super soft and it smells great and it's supposed Ooh, to- it does smell good. Yeah, it's supposed to help with cellulite. Okay, so that's on there. Now, you guys make fun of me, but I've got to tell you, that this one article of clothing that I'm wearing right now, it's a bodysuit that I got from Amazon. I have not received this many compliments on anything I've ever worn before. I wore it with a skirt, it looked really cute with boots and stuff, but it's just a bodysuit with a, it's black and it has a white collar with little white um, sleeves. Maybe it's the pheromones there getting you the compliments. I don't know, it could be, but it's really cheap. I think it's under $20 and it goes with everything and it looks really classy, I think. It does. It's very cute. <laughs> I'm wearing it over. I'm, I have like a one piece jumpsuit on and I'm wearing it like snap. So you don't want to see. I don't have pants on over it. It's actually over my pants. Oh, wow. I'll show you. See? Look. Oh, uh, the, yeah, that's, it just gives me a weird vibe. I know. I know. It, I just oh. totally weirded you out. But anyway. That's on our store and I've put some stuff up there along like the last couple months. I've just stuck some things up there that I thought you guys would be interested in. But those are our Amazon things we love. We love it. Okay. Now, did you care to smell the pheromones? No, I'm good. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. All right. See if that does anything for you. (laughs) Like what? I don't know. Makes you like. Maybe I'm scared now. Yeah, don't want (laughs) to. They have them for men too, to make women fall at your feet, or men. <laughs> well, I don't. Need that. <laughs> or rather, men fall at your feet, but they have a men's version as well. Uh-huh. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I think I have enough cologne. Oh yeah, How much I forgot do you about. Have? Oh. Uh, I wish you had a picture of your bathroom counter. Wow, I. Uh, Is it I, still the same in your new no, place? No. No. Okay, you're making me feel bad because I have two right now, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of cologne. Oh, oh. God, no. <laughs> Mine looks like the cologne counter at a Nordstrom's. Cologne and perfume. No. Well, sure. Yeah. You- well, I have some unisex. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, eau de perfume does not actually mean perfume. That just means how they make it. Well, he has the one. You, don't you have like Paris Hilton's and Ariana no. Grande's and like Britney Spears? No. <laughs> you have you have one of those. I have Ariana Grande. Okay. Yeah. And that's unisex. It is. Mm. And it smells really good. Did you guys know? It's called Thank You Next. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Did you guys know that Beetlejuice 2 is happening? Oh, God, yeah. no. Please then, then tell then, uh, me. I think no. Jenna Ortega just actually joined the cast for it. Oh, she did. Oh, yeah. Gosh. And Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder return. That could be really great. No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Not, probably not. Not, <laughs> not at all. All righty then. You okay, know, do you think Beetlejuice 2 will be good? I don't even remember Beetlejuice 1. Was Beetlejuice 1 great? Was that a great movie? Uh, Does it need to be remade? Or? No. It had a great soundtrack. Genuinely amazing soundtrack. And it was like, okay, it was a good movie. Did you know the total cost of the ceremony, Sunday ceremony, the Oscar ceremony? Was, Wait, let's take guesses. Yeah. You go first. $25 million. No. Mm, I'm going to say, I don't think, 20, I don't think as high as 25 uh, I'm gonna say like fifty. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like fifteen million. Fifty-eight point six million dollars. Holy wow! Fifty-eight million. Mm-hmm. Wow. For the whole ceremony. Where I mean, go to security, the advertising, the advertising, the carpet, the sets. The yeah, but most movies don't cost that much, and they have way more of all that. Don't they have to pay? Do, do the people that uh, that present the Oscars do they get paid? Do you know that? You know that fact? I, I don't assume I don't think so. so. Probably. Like Harrison Ford, did he get paid? Too? Oh, I'm sure no. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel obviously gets paid. Right. I don't know about, maybe they do. Hmm. Well, so do you maybe. know what I heard? What? I heard that um, James Cameron, who directed the Avatar The Weight of Water, didn't show up because he wasn't nominated for Best Director. Oh, I, he said he didn't show up for personal reasons, but he was never going to get Best Director. No. But do he, you think that's why he didn't show up? Because I, no. I heard he is a dick. Allegedly, really? and Tom Cruise didn't show up either. Mm-hmm. Oh, why not? It was he, probably a big Scientology event. Yeah, I don't know because he, he, he's good like that. He doesn't seem to be uh, into the drama. I don't know. Top Gun got nominated for best. I mean, it was never going to win Best Picture, but it got nominated for that and Best VFX. It would have won he Best VFX if up. Avatar. Yeah. Will you Google why did? <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as you yawning on the podcast. To be fair. Oh, don't get me started. If I wasn't like a dead ringer for an Oscar award, I probably wouldn't show up either. Okay, don't laugh at me for a second, but having gone to the ceremony for five years, it's a lot. Like being a celebrity and being in the limelight and the whole thing and the world, it's a lot. It's a big day. It's a Mm -hmm. lot to deal with. And if you didn't have to go, I would think that you probably wouldn't want to. Yeah, because it's not just a, like, it's not, I don't think it really is anymore. Just, oh, the, they get to hang out with their friends and get some awards. It's now, it's like, a, it's its own production. It's probably just not that fun anymore. The fun part are the parties after. Sure. That, that's where most of the celebrities show up anyway. And do coke and. Oh my God. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, even, well, even Elizabeth Banks made a crack at it. Oh, that oh, was yeah? funny because she did yeah. cocaine bear. Yeah, she directed that. She did? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I was actually surprised too. I didn't realize she did. Oh, Wow. <laughs> You know how much the 50,000 square feet of carpet costs? The red carpet? Ten. Wasn't it champagne this year? Oh, th- how? 50,000? It was crazy. champagne colored, yes. Cham- I say $2 million. $24,000. Oh. Not too bad. And uh, the cost of an A-list actress's ensemble generally is right around $10 million Wait. The with car- the jewels, their whole thing. Oh, their Head outfit costs yeah, ten million on average. The dress, the jewels, the shoes, the purse, the whole thing. I'm just going to men's warehouse and picking something up. That's ridiculous. Oh, you are nominated for an Academy Award. You are going to get your suit made for you proper. No, by like Prada or something. No. Yes. No, that's Brian, not worth the money. Brian. Yes, I'm going to make you when you are nominated. You're not my mom. <laughs> I'm not. I am. But I am not dropping ten million on a suit. That's ridiculous. You don't drop. They. The designers give it to you, don't they? I don't, no, I don't think so. Mm, well. Yeah, it just as personal reasons. With Tom Cruise? No, James Cameron. I wanted you to look at Tom Cruise. Oh, sorry. Mm. Max will spend is like maybe 2K. Here's the thing. You spend like 10, 20,000 a suit. It's not better than the 2K suit. It's just got the name on it. When it is completely tailored to your exact body, 
Nothing looks better than a suit that's uh, tailored. I disagree perfectly. because I'm sure the rock suit was custom tailored to him and it still looked bad. It he looked- was too busy filming um, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning in the UK. Oh, okay. I respect that man's drive. He's I believe, crazy, but yeah. Scientology gives him some crazy strength and power. Mm-hmm. The minute he drops out of Scientology, that religion or whatever it is is going to go away, I think. No, I think all, I think his ability to do all these stunts will, though. <laughs> did you, did, by the way, did you see the lukewarm reaction when John Travolta came out? No. Yeah. Honestly, Why? He's not pop. He's he's kind of a was uh, has been. So they they he was introducing the in memoriam. Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim. That's what I started laughing because he said uh, Lenny Kravitz was singing the song, as I said. And um, he said, the incomparable. And I thought, oh, he's going to screw up that name because that's what he said about Adina Menzel. He said, the incomparable Adele Adele Dazim. Dazim. He freaked out on the name. That was so funny. Mm -hmm. Now, he didn't get very many applause. Is that what was Mm -hmm. happening? He came out. Did people not like him? He's just, he hasn't been in a big movie in a while. Like, mm-hmm. he's just not that famous anymore. He's also, he's, hmm. not, he's not a fantastic actor. Um, no. He hasn't been for a while, at least. Yeah. But he's John Travolta. He's lovable, yeah. I think. What's the last great movie you saw John Travolta in? Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> I didn't even think Pulp Fiction was ama- that amazing. Okay, like, no, Pulp Fiction's good. It's good, yeah, but Michael, the angel... <laughs> Remember the movie the, that he's an angel oh, yeah, that falls Michael. from heaven? No, yeah. That's right. No, I, I like kidding. John Travolta, but he's just not. I like him too. He's not like amazing. He's not that crazy. The Oscars give LA's economy a $163 million boost. All the hotels. Just from tourism. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it costs $80,000 for a couple to attend the Vanity Fair after party. You have I would, to pay for that. I wouldn't go to that. Oh, that would be an amazing party. Oh, my God. It was so funny last night because, at, well, so you know how they always air the Oscars twice. They air them at five and then at eight, oh. right? So right after it ends, it it replays. So this year, it didn't. It said on the ABC website that it, it, it aired at five and eight. And, um, and it was American Idol instead. So I don't know what happened, but... Um, but uh, what was I just going to say? Oh, my gosh, it went in Uh-oh, out. you're catching my disease. Uh-oh, you just said. Next thing you know, I'll be yawning. What did you just say <laughs> with, the, with the report? What was the last thing you said? $80,000 for a couple to attend the yes. Vanity Fair party? So the, there, after American Idol, they had like the Channel 10 where it was the correspondence. The that local. Are, they're all people. at the parties. And this guy was like, well, I'm in a in Spanx and I am on the red carpet at the Vanity Fair party and look at all the celebrities and there wasn't a single celebrity it was just regular people waiting in line to get in I think they all showed up late they do Um, yeah one time we got to go we got to be seat fillers at the party I don't know if it was it was um Who's that old crooner, that singer, um, Dean, not Dean Martin, but um, he's still alive, this guy. Tony um, Bennett. Bennett. Tony Bennett was throwing a party at Oscar after party. And so we were like, oh, my God. So we, we had to go fill the seats until people got to the party. So it looked like it was jamming already. And um, no, not a one celebrity except for there's old to- Tony Bennett in the middle somewhere like over to the side, but we didn't see anybody. Yeah, it was funny. They must and show up really late. Well, well, think about it. If you're like, like, let's say you're a big celebrity and let's say you're in your 50s, are you going to go out partying mm-mm. like till 2 a.m.? No. I'm sure half people there are doing coke and stuff. I would go home. I, was I would so go home. dying because Jamie Lee Curtis was being interviewed and she said, you know why I blew off the pre-Oscar party? Because it started at 8 o'clock. <laughs> and I guess she's notorious for getting up super, super early Uh-oh. and she so they were all making bets that even though she won the oscar she wasn't gonna go to any of the after parties oh they man she should have made an exception i hope she did go to at least i one. love her um, respect for not going true i i do i lo- i really like her a lot i think she seems really down to yeah. earth and cool and i love that she won an oscar I'm i very do happy she seems her. like a very severe grandmother oh severe oh, is a yeah. good word like very intense Yes, yeah. very don't, intense. Don't spill your chocolate milk. There will be repercussions. Oh, that'd be me. Um, you know what? We could end the podcast right now, or I have one more thing. What okay. do you think? Let's do it. No, ask that, we're ask our producer. What do you oh, think? Uh, Time wise, we're at forty-four. 
Let's end it. I'll do this next time. What, what is your 12 segment? things that scream I have no life. I want to hear these actually. Oh my God. Make an exception. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Running tally on how, how many of these are applicable to us. <laughs> okay. So uh, the list of things that seem to scream I have no life includes nonstop complaining about other people. It means you have no life. Well, yeah. The person at work who monitors how often people are at their computer. Oh do you have God, somebody seriously? at work that does that? No. We're, no. That doesn't really, I don't know if that really happens anymore. Posting everything about your personal business and drama on social media. And mo more specifically, the Facebook oh, moms God. groups. Oh, true. Aaron. I absolutely hate it when people post things on, on social media that say, um, so-and-so and I have decided to separate or part ways. Please respect our privacy and don't ask any questions. <laughs> I know. You know what, and I'm like, why yeah. would you post that on mm -hmm. social media if you don't want anyone to ask any questions? Like, you, know, you thirsty bitch. Like, you know who just, I love is, pe is celebrities that people know absolutely nothing about their personal life because they just haven't said a thing. Yeah. Those are the coolest ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who, like example. Harrison Ford's notoriously yeah. tight-lipped. Uh, Kevin Spacey was until he went under, yeah. but... Kevin Spacey was very tight-lipped about his personal life. Yeah. Um, Rebecca Hall was, I think. Yeah. You don't really hear a lot about Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. Mm -hmm. Like, you just hear that they're together yeah. and that she does a movie here and there or a show. Because they don't yeah. really do much anymore. I think back back in her prime, they, there was a lot more about her. But Well, that's... Like when she was married to Tom Cruise, she was in the, she was in the limelight. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. Another one is people who spend all day arguing with strangers on Facebook or bots on Twitter. Oh, God. Or simply being on social media all the time and commenting negatively. Uh -huh. Sure. Being way too invested in the lives of reality TV stars. Oh, it's so funny you should say that. <laughs> like the Vanderpump people. Oh. I'm obsessed. Sorry. 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I can't. Real Housewives. Oh, ouch. I just realized something. What? I didn't watch it last night. Oh, no. I get to watch it tonight. 90 Day Fiance the other way. I have an episode I haven't watched. Oh, That's boy. very exciting news to me. I'm overjoyed for you. Being emotionally invested in the British royal family. Oh, agreed. They are the worst. Even Harry. Especially Harry. You don't. Do you have respect for Harry? Or? Which one's Harry? Is he the one married to Meghan? Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate them both. Oh, boy. Uh, being, oh, playing thousands of hours of a single $20 indie game on Steam. I have no idea what you just said. I don't know I, what I, I just said. I get it, but. What is that? Steam is the largest video game publisher. Okay, so. Does know, this mean you have no life? Do you, you know, like the app store on your phone, right? Yeah. So the app, so Steam is the app store on your computer for if you want to buy like a video game on your computer. So indie game means that it's an independent, like an independent team, not a giant publisher. So a couple of friends made a video game, put 20 bucks, and some of them are really good, some of them are not. But basically they're saying if you only play, like, you know, if you're a hipster uh -huh. that only plays video games that no one's heard of, you have no then life. you have no life. Okay. Oh, God. Only ever talking about your job. This Ugh. depends on what you do and True. who you hang out with. If you're out with a bunch of people from the office, you're probably talking about work. But if sure. you're not, then whatever. Working tons of hours and bragging about it. Ugh. Um, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Oh yeah? Sure. You brag about how much you work? Not frequently, but I have. Hanging out at work after you're off? I've done that. Sometimes I, that's fun. I know, I know. Being involved with a homeowner association? Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> or the, the school board, if you're the president oh, of the school board. Well, that's a little different because that's for your kid, but it is kind of. You're the president though of the school yeah, board. Yeah, you're, mm, you I, w I wouldn't even, Bake cookies for a bake off if I yes, had kids. You would. No, you I wouldn't. Would. Ugh. Nope. And one person on this chat, whatever, suggested breaking into a teenager's home because he flipped you off a week ago. Oh, God. Wow. That is so oddly specific. Yep. Wow. I agree, though. You have no life if you do that. Yep. Wow. Where do you get these? I just get them. I just hunt for stuff online. Like, just like, um, what do I search? I forgot what I search. Some kind of, um, I can't think of the term, but it, I search a certain term and all these like lifestyle stories come up. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to know? I'm just, I'm curious as the, after the last one, I was like, where is she getting these? I know. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. What are you going to do? You wanted to hear it. This is your fault. 
It was fine. Okay. Uh, remember to subscribe to Laura Kane After Dark. That would be awesome. We would love it if you did. Four ninety nine a month. Yes. Talk to Jay Wurzler if you need some help with your money. That would be awesome. Jay uh, nor Laura needs help with her money. <laughs> uh, all his information is on lauracaneafterdark.com. Laura, you should check out his website. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. God. It's capitalgrowthinc.com, Laura. God. Mm. So glad he has a website. Mm -hmm. Me too. It's the only website I like better than ours. Also on lauracaneafterdark.com, you can go to our little Amazon store and maybe look at the things that we talked about today. And do you have anything to add, Mr. Scroller? Uh, you're done. You've been done for like I'm 10 minutes. I'm actually getting ready to post on our social media for it. For what? The show? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now that it's over. <laughs> A okay. little late. A little late, but it's okay. <laughs> um, with that, I think that I think I got everything in. And um, you know what? Did you get everything out? Yeah, I got everything out. Okay. Everything out that you need to get out? couple days ago okay <laughs> i was waiting for it to become gross and it gross. i was like it's gonna happen it's gonna become gross gross i know you wanted it that's why i said it you know if i wanted i would have said something gross <laughs> <laughs> um okay i guess that's it and love your podcast love your podcast i love you okay love the outfit I'm going to put this on my teeth right don't, now while you do this. Don't I'm done. love the lipstick, oh, though. Please say, I don't want to see her put that stuff on her teeth. That's weird. I do, and I want to see her just hold her, her lips out. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's my lipstick? It's not. It's, it's not even It's existent. a hot mess. Mm -mm. You have to do this a couple times. Oh, that. gosh. Okay, here we go. Now just okay, are you gonna, what are you going to oh, do? Why are we doing this on the show? Hold, I'm hold, waiting for him to log to out. Like I'm trying to do something to make him log out. Oh, are you? I'm just uh -huh. watching with bated breath to see how. Yeah, funny enough, it's not working. It's just weird now. Uh -huh, it now is. it's awkward. Love your podcast. Oh, God. Love your podcast, babies. Bye. <laughs>